Good afternoon and welcome and in today's video we will be looking at the effect that tip size has on the control that you have over the cue ball. The size of the cue tipping pool varies from 10.5 millimeters through to 6.5 millimeters, and the tip that you go for is very much a personal choice. I personally use a 7.5 millimeter tip on my pool cue. However, my brake cue is much larger than that at 11 millimeters. At the moment, I am using an Elkmaster tip on my cue, but this is because I've recently retipped it. And next time out, I intend on trying out one of the Ultimate Pool Professional Tips instead. Firstly, we need to look at the reasons that the brake cue and the normal play cue are so different in their relative sizes. The brake cue clearly has a much larger tip, since it is fully designed for the amount of power that you have to put into smashing the balls up at the start of each frame. It is unwise to use a cue such as my normal cue to try and transmit that sort of power through the pack since eventually you will run the risk of splitting the cue with repeated use. Comparing different cues, we can see that the American Pool cue has the largest tip size at 14mm. The brake cue, as we have said, is 11 Your average shot bought snooker cue, which is what most casual pool players will end up using, is 9.5 there or thereabouts and my own specialist pool cue is 7.5. This makes sense across the different formats of cue sports since American pool balls are much larger and weightier at two and a quarter inch. Snooker balls are two and one sixteenth inches and the cue ball on an English pool table is one and seven eighth inches large. The very last thing that you want to be doing is hitting at an American pool ball with my English pool cue. The general rule of tip size is that the larger the tip, the less spin that you can impart upon the cue ball, since the more contact area the tip has with the English pool ball. However, the larger the tip size, the more likely you are in terms of being able to hit the ball true if your cueing is slightly out. Therefore, there is a payoff in both instances for the casual player. Smaller tip, more spin. More chance of miscuing. Larger tip, less spin, less chance of miscuing. It must also be noted that when playing with side, the throw in the cue ball will be much higher the smaller the tip that you have. Therefore, you must take that into account when you take aim with your shot. Okay, so it's time for a direct comparison of tip sizes. I'm going to be playing a deep screw shot five times over with each of the four different size tips of cue that I have. I'm going to try and play it at the same pace, into the same pocket, uh, using the same chalk each time round. Let's see if my theory is right, or is it more the case of it's not the size of it, it's what you do with it that matters. So the first one I'm using is my 7.5mm tip. you lost in that corner just there. Hmm. So the furthest I've got, that far down the table. Next cue I'm using is my trusty old snooker cue bought from Sport and Ski 16 years ago with a 9.5mm tip.
so far. Not much difference. This cue is slightly heavier, though. Snatched at that one a little bit. The next cue to try out is my ultimate pull brake cue, which is a little bit heavier than the other two, because um, it's a brake cue, obviously. It's a 11 millimeters tip. Let's see how we get on with this. Heavier still because of the brass plug in the end of the butt. No jokes, please. Hit that one a little bit. And the last cue to try is the 14 millimeter American pool cue uh, found behind the telly at my ex missus old house. So there you have it. The results are generally completely inconclusive. It looks as if it's not really the size of the tip after all. It's what you do with it that counts, as I said before. So I hope you liked this video, or at least you found out something new, or at least you found out that you already knew something. Um, nonetheless, like, subscribe, have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.